Hey Champion Forest kids, I'm Tassil Riser and this is your missions moment. Did you know on Sunday nights from 5 to 6 30 you can learn about missions? Not just mission training to go on a mission trip but just learn what God is doing all over the globe. In our kids ministry we have mission friends for preschoolers and for first through fifth grade girls we have girls in action also known as GAs. We also have Royal Ambassadors, also known as RAs, for first through fifth grade girls and boys. We meet on Sunday nights from 5 to 6.30. We learn how to live a missions lifestyle. We learn how to share the gospel with the world. So we learn what God is doing around the globe. We learn to pray for what God is doing. We learn about different countries and different aspects of missions here in the United States. We learn to give to missions of our time and our offerings, and we learn to do missions. We learn to get out there and tell people about Jesus, which is kind of hard to do when we're all stuck in our homes, but there are ways to do it. So get your Bibles out, because the first thing we do in GAs and RAs is we study the Bible. It's kind of cool, because Miss Stephanie was talking about the people who followed Jesus the other day. She was talking about the Pharisees and the sinners and the tax collectors. Those people who followed Jesus that were just ordinary people like you and me. They weren't rich and famous. They weren't perfect. They just wanted to see what Jesus was saying. One of those people, one of those tax collectors, was Matthew. And here in your Bible, in the book of Matthew, you get a great story about how Matthew just got up and followed Jesus. It says in Matthew 9, verse 9, as Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at a tax booth. And Jesus said to Matthew, follow me. And Matthew got up and he followed Jesus. And as Jesus reclined at the table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. Reclining doesn't mean they're sitting in a recliner and falling asleep while they watch TV. That means that they were relaxing and they were enjoying one another's company. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to Jesus' disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need for a physician, but those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Why do you think Matthew followed Jesus? It was just because Jesus commanded him and said, follow me. And so Matthew got up. Well, if Matthew was a tax collector, he probably knew that he wasn't well liked by people, but Jesus wanted him. And he, so he followed him and he became a beloved disciple of Jesus Christ, a great follower and wrote the book of Matthew. So he's an evangelist. He went from being a not great guy to knowing what he could do in the kingdom of God. So why do you follow Jesus? I can tell you why I follow Jesus. There are lots of reasons, but when I was seven and I accepted the Lord into my heart, I knew that I wanted to follow Jesus. You see, by the time I was seven, I knew what heaven was and I knew what hell was and I knew right from wrong. And I knew that I wanted to live forever in heaven with Jesus. I didn't want anything else for my life. I knew I did not want to spend eternity in hell. And so I gave my life to Jesus Christ and I promised to serve him. That's our Bible focus in GAs and RAs for the month of March. And then we have a ministry focus and a missions focus. So let's talk about our missions focus for a moment. Okay, so Jesus told Matthew, follow me. And that's what Matthew did. He followed him. Do you think if Jesus walked into McDonald's right now, he would sit alone? 
No, Jesus would not sit alone. He would find the person who is in the most need, and he would go and sit with those people. He would probably buy them a meal. Would you do that? If you see someone sitting alone in a restaurant, have you asked them to sit with you? You know, Jesus, he could have chosen to spend a lot of time with rich and famous people, but he didn't. He chose to eat with ordinary people. He chose to hang out with those people who were less than, people who others had rejected. We're just ordinary people. We're not perfect, but we can share the love of Jesus. A couple of years ago, my daughter and I were driving late at night and we were in a busy area and we came to a stoplight and there was a man on the corner who was obviously homeless. It was 20 degrees outside and he didn't have a coat on. And it dawned on me that I had this big, huge, heavy coat on that I really didn't need because I had heat in my car. So the light turned green and I went around and I looped back around so I could get to that guy. And my daughter said, mom, what are you doing? And I said, the guy didn't have a coat. I'm going to give him my coat. By the time we got to him again, I'd, I'd taken my coat and my gloves off. And I said, I think you need this tonight. It'll keep you warm. It's very warm. But I, the only gloves I have are my pink gloves. They were hot pink. <laughs> but I gave them to him anyway, because it would keep his hands warm. And my daughter said, Mom, why'd you give your coat away? And I said, well, that man's gonna be warm because I gave him my coat. When I gave the man my coat and those hot pink gloves, I said to him, you know, I'm giving you this because God loves you and he provides for me and I have enough. So keep yourself warm tonight. That was all that I needed to do. And I'm happy to think that he could have been warm that night because of the coat I gave him. Jesus chose to hang out with ordinary people. So there's a guy, a missionary, who works in, here in North America. He's actually in the state of Idaho, which is way up north. And he lives in a very tiny community that has like 20, 200 people. And his name is Mike Palmer. And he is the pastor of a cowboy church. Have you ever been to a cowboy church? So, so I'm gonna tell you about cowboy church. I'm gonna have to put on the cowboy hat. Howdy partner. So Mike Palmer lives in Idaho and he's a pastor of a church in a small town that has about 200 people, but he ministers to cowboys and ranchers. What does he do? He tells them about Jesus because those cowboys might be afraid to go to a traditional church like the one that you and I go to. Cowboy church is for anybody, just like our church, but it's for people who may feel more comfortable with other people like them. We have cowboy churches all over the place. Tomball, Montgomery, Magnolia, Conroe, Cut and Shoot. There's cowboy churches everywhere. And they're for those people who need to be with other people like them, but they're ordinary people, just like you and me. But they wanna to go to church with people who look like them and work in the same field they do. Cowboy church is pretty neat. If you've ever seen anything about a cowboy church, one of the things that I love is how they baptize people. They baptize people in rivers and in pools, in people's swimming pools at their homes. And one of my favorite ways that they baptize is they take one of these giant cow watering pans, I call it, and it's made of metal and it's probably eight feet long and they fill it with water. And if you wanna get baptized, they put you down in it and you're fully clothed and they baptize you in that watering um, trough. I think that's pretty neat because people can come to the saving love of Jesus Christ anyway, because God sent his son to save us. He, he sent his son to save ordinary people like you and me. 
he sent his son to save Matthew. And what a great job he did doing that. And all he did was say, follow me. And Matthew went and he did it. So this week, you're at home. What can you do? How can you help? How can you share the love of Jesus? There are lots of ways to do that. I'm gonna post a couple of activities for you and your family to do together. But for now, I've got videos, recipes, and activities for you to do. So be on the lookout today because Missions Moment has a lot of activities for you to do so that you can share the love of Jesus Christ with anyone you see or come into contact with.